So the studies show every 30 seconds, someone takes their life because of depression. That's the dark side. That's looking at the glass as half empty. Because what the studies don't show, and I'd be willing to bet, every 30 seconds, someone makes the decision not to take their life. They decide to fight. They decide to change. They decide to seek some help. They decide enough is enough. They decide to get busy living. And that's you. Because I know you're in a rut. I know you're unhappy. I know you feel sad. You feel down and out. And you feel like no one sees you. No one hears you. And nobody cares. But in spite of all your issues, in spite of all your problems, in spite of all your symptoms, and in spite of all your signs, you are not depression. And you're not alone. So we all have times in life when we feel sad or down in the dumps because life can and will strike. And it may hit us in the form of a tragedy like the death of a loved one or a bad relationship breakup, the loss of a job, a negative medical diagnosis, stress and pressure from being bullied, bad grades in school, loneliness, emotional, physical, or sexual abuse, or anything that damages our self-image or our self-worth. Normally, after a small period of time passes, we feel better, right back to normal. But for you, it just hasn't passed. You can't seem to shake it. You can't seem to get the pain, the negative thoughts or sadness in your brain to go away. You can't seem to get back to feeling like your normal self. And that's why I'm talking directly to you. Because I want to introduce the current you to the next level of you. The new and improved version of you. And it all starts with changing your mindset, changing the way you think. So you have to kill those negative voices, those dark thoughts that are holding your brain hostage. Stop telling yourself that you're depressed. From this day forward, never, ever, ever again say that you're depressed out loud. You have to change those negative thought processes and replace them with positive affirmations every day when you wake up. I want you to find yourself a mirror and I want you to get to that mirror and I want you to look yourself dead in the eye and I want you to say this over and over and over and over again until you believe it in your heart of hearts. I am enough. I am worthy. My life matters. I forgive myself. I can and will be happy. I can move on. I love me some me. And it's not over until I'm smiling and winning. It's also super important that you replace any negative habit that you're using as an escape mechanism with the positive release. Just like I use hip hop, I had to figure out that was my gift. And so whenever anything negative happened in my life and I felt sad and I felt down, I just wrote about it. So I need you to figure out your gift or at least something you can go to when those feelings of despair or sadness kick in. You can use this to quickly redirect, quickly refocus your brain to that of a positive place. See, sometimes you have to shock your brain Simply what I mean by that is, do something that may make you a little uncomfortable that's positive to put yourself in a better mental space. And please, never feel ashamed or be afraid to tell somebody, talk to someone. Sometimes the issue may be bigger than you. It may require some medical attention. Let go of your pride and listen to me. Do not 
And I repeat, do not keep this bottled in. If you're uncomfortable talking to friends or family, seek mentorship from someone who's overcome depression. And if all else fails, Google search depression or sadness hotlines and speak to someone. But by all means, talk to somebody about your issue. I promise this will help. Remember, your life is worth more than your darkness. So today is the perfect day for you to start the process of falling back in love with yourself. You have the power to take your happy back. And even when you feel like you're all alone, you are not. We are here for you and we want the best for you. Many people have overcome what you're going through and you can too. Listen to me. It requires effort to hurt yourself. I need you to take that same effort and become determined to help yourself. It's time for you to reconnect with the greatness of you. I know you feel like you're in a dark tunnel. You feel like you're in a fog. I need you to drive yourself out of that dark tunnel, drive yourself out of that fog, and push your way to the sunlight. There's a sunset and a sunlight that's waiting for you. You are not worthless. You are not a nobody. You are not alone. You are not ugly or any of the other names that they call you or you call yourself sometimes. It's time for you to overcome so you can help others overcome with your story. If nobody sees you, I do. And I just need you to see yourself and remember it's your God-given right to be happy, fulfilled, and live a prosperous life. So I need you to repeat after me. I am no longer depressed. As of today, I am officially de-stressed. You are not depression. You are success personified. So I need you to make a vow to yourself that from this day forward, you will keep fighting and working hard to climb over any hump or any obstacle and make each and every day of your life a Wednesday, you are unbreakable. It's a great day to win. Let's go.